Hi everyone, this is Shannon from theirishscrapper.com and today we are going to be creating this gift box. Um, as you can see, this is a very nice size. I know I mentioned that I was going to be doing this soon and I was waiting for my paper to come in um, to be able to show you guys this. So this box is about, it's a little over six inches. Um, so it could definitely hold, you know, a scarf or some kind of nice sized um, gift. So let's go ahead and show you how I created this. Foil Frenzy Designer Series Paper. Um, I love this paper. It comes in multiple colors. Let me open this for you guys. I'll show it to you again for any of my new viewers. Um, you have Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, Tangerine Tango, Soft Sky, and then you get it in multiple uh, design. So you get the dots, you get a little bit of the chevron pattern as well as the stripes. This is a little bit heavier um, cardstock than you're used to with the designer series paper. Um, so it is perfect for gift packaging. Then I also have some of our 12 by 12 in color cardstock and we are going to be doing our box today in the berry burst because that's my favorite color as you guys know. Let me pull a piece of that out. So the 12 by 12 cardstock can be found in the annual catalog um, in the paper area. We're going to use our um, stamp and trimmer for this and we're also going to be using the finely woven um, ribbon and this is in berry burst. Okay so let's start with trimming down our paper. I'm going to open my trimmer here um, and we will be using the foil frenzy for the top. So the top of our box is cut to 10 and 1 16th. Okay, that is the line just past the number 10. And let me cut that. 10 and 1 16th by 10 and 1 16th. Okay, and then we are going to score this. Let me close my arm here. We're going to score this at one and at two inches all the way around. So the scoring blade is the lighter blade. I'm just going to go over that a couple times. We're going to do that on all four sides. I love this size box and I thought I would have to share it with you guys because I do love um, doing my own gift packaging and this foil frenzy paper makes it so easy um, because of the foil. It's so decorative and pretty and bright. Okay, let me go to my two. Alright, I know it's a little hard to tell um, on the foil side, but hopefully you can see those score lines. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. I'm also going to trim down my base. So my base is 12 by 12, um, so I'm not cutting anything off, but I am going to score it at 1 and 3 inches on all sides. Okay, there's my 1. Here's my three. Let's turn that. And this just gives you a little extra card stuff to kind of strengthen your box and you'll see when we fold what I mean by that. Okay, so this is at one. Let's do three. Whoops. Okay. There we go. 
and I will show you, I have myself a little template, and sometimes if you've not made a box before, it's helpful um, to make yourself a template so you can see what it will look like um, when it is all cut. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's start with our um, base here, and I think I'm going to, did I miss? No. I'm going to just burnish these so I can hopefully see them a little bit better. My lighting in here today is a little off, so hopefully that will help me to show you where the lines are. Typically you would do your scoring. Some people do it after they cut. Um, I find depending on how well I can see the line, sometimes I score beforehand. Okay. All right, so hopefully you can see in this corner, there's a score line here and here and then one here. So we are going to cut up this score line as well as this one, okay? I'm going to come in from this and just trim this off completely, okay? I'm going to cut this tab off here as well, okay? I'm going to take an take the edge off of that. Now I'm going to trim this edge as well. So this will just help me when I'm folding my box. You can even take off a little more if you'd like. That one is a little crooked so I think I will take it off. Okay so we're going to do that around all four sides. So I started here. I'm going to turn this way and I'm going to cut all the way up. Okay, I'm going to cut the edge off there. I'm going to cut my piece there. I know I'm not seeing that as well. Okay, then I'm going to trim this little edge off. Might be easier with a little bit of a bigger scissor as well. Okay, so now I'm going to turn again, do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to trim that edge off. I'm going to trim this. I'm going to snip this on an angle. Then we're going to do this part. These little slivers do help when you're folding, so I always like to do that. Okay, turn again. Alright, I'm going to trim that. Trim this. there. All right. So here we go. There is our template for our base. Okay, so we're going to put adhesive on all these tabs, but first I'm going to go ahead and um, trim down my top as well. Okay, so same thing here. I'm just going to give myself a nice score. Hopefully you can see this the glare of the foil.
All right, let's this last one nice and tight. Okay, so we are going to trim this out the same way. I'm going to cut up to that second line. I'm going to cut up here as well. We're going to come in and trim that piece out. I'm going to trim this tab off. I'm going to trim this edge. Give me a little bit of... And then I'm just going to take a sliver off. Scissors are caught on my hand here. Okay, and then I'm going to do that same thing around all corners. So I'm going to turn it this way. I will probably um, fast forward this just a little since we've covered this step. Here is our top, okay, and as I mentioned before, I have two pieces of the uh, finely woven ribbon in the berry burst, and these are cut at 11 inches. So what I'm going to do here is, my box top will probably go this way, I'm going to add fast fuse to my ribbon, and I'm going to line that ribbon up um, right on my box. <clears throat> so I'm going to set that aside, I have my silicone mat here. And we're going to add the fast fuse all the way down. Okay, I noticed I missed whoops, a little bit on this edge. I'm going to add some more. Okay. All right, and then with my box... I'm going to kind of eyeball this for the center. And that looks about right to me. So I'm going to lay that down. Okay, I haven't tucked my edges. I'm going to bring in my other piece of Fast Fuse now and do the same thing. You could use your Tombow probably as well, um, even your um, tear and tape. Okay, so I'm going to look for the center again. That looks about right to me. Okay, so now I can flip this over and I can tuck these edges in. Just like that. The fast fuse is there. It's going to hold it. Okay, now I'm going to add fast fuse here all the tabs and you could even add some in here so I'll put a little bit around all of those sides be sure you don't stick your tabs to your work surface okay and then we're going to bring up that corner, okay, just like that. I'm going to do my corners first. Very good. One more. All right. And now we can tuck this down, and that's actually going to make our lid a little bit stronger on the edges there, okay? And your ribbon is nicely tucked away, okay? So my bow might be a little off-center, but still looks good. And then I've created um, a bow with another piece of ribbon, and you can just adhere that, you know, with a glue dot um, to hold. You could add more um, adhesive if you want. I'm just going to stick a glue dot here. And drop that. Okay, and then let's create our bottom and we can put our box together. So we're going to add again fast fuse <clears throat> to these tabs. And 
I love Berry Burst. I just cannot get enough of Berry Burst. I'm going to be so sad when this in color goes. Okay, same thing here. So you can add um, some Fast Fuse to your tabs. Just don't stick those other tabs to your table. All right, and we will start with our corners. I'm just going to line that up. I love seeing um, this. Actually, you know, was one of the projects sampled in the catalog, and because I love the gift packaging, I thought I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do that. Um, so here is the box. We are going to fold those down. And then add our, our top. Just like that. Is that so cool? I love it. And look at these bold, bright colors. I love the different options with the, the design and the foil frenzy so you can mix and match and choose what you'd like to do. So as always, guys, I thank you so much for watching today. And if you'd like to purchase any of today's supplies, head on over to the description of this video for a full supply list. And I look forward to being back with you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.